Hello Spectrum, and welcome to the premiere production of Noise News. As the temperature drops, the leaves get crunchier, the colors get prettier, and the fashion gets better. Jasmine and Jordan dug deep to find out what Spectrum students think about this year's fall trend. As the leaves fall and the weather grows colder, Minnesotans start breaking out their fall sweaters, boots, and scarves for apple orchards, haunted houses, bonfires, and pumpkin patches. 2015 has been predicted to be one of the best years in fall fashion yet, including trends like flare jeans, chunky knit sweaters, and pattern tights. Here at Spectrum, fall is one of the best times of year for fashion as well. We started out by asking the boys their thoughts on guys' fall fashion. You know, it's all about what I'm feeling on that day. <laughs> I like the khakis. The khakis are very nice. Flannels? Yeah, you gotta wear flannels, that's how you get stylish. Flannels, are you kidding me? I don't like the flannels. The flannels are cheap. You have to have the Gucci. The Gucci is the best. Nike first, and then American Eagle. That's about all I wear. Eagles. They're very, very nice. Next, we interviewed the girls about their favorite fall stores. My favorite stores are American Eagle, Forever 21, and Anthropology. Hi, food. <laughs> are American Eagle, Francesca's, and Gap. My fashion inspirations are Courtney Steves and Adam McDonald. <laughs> My fashion inspirations are Jordan Marshkey and Kendall Pitter. <laughs> Adam Levine and LeBron James. I like uh, visit Manila Ice. He's a very, very good, talented rapper. As you can see, so many teens express themselves through fashion. So keep a lookout for all the unique styles and individual fashion trends walking the hallways this fall here at Spectrum High School. This has been Jordan Marshke and Jasmine Nelson signing off. Awesome story, ladies. Every year, millions of Americans celebrate Halloween, but this year it falls on Saturday. Let's go to Parker, Matt, and Ryan to see what students are planning for Halloween. What do you do for Halloween, Spectrum? What do you do on Halloween? Well, my family usually gets together with friends and just watch a movie. Sometimes we go outside and play a little Night Capture the Flag. I watch movies. <laughs> Happy Disney movies. What do you like to do at home? I like to eat candy. Me too. Do you like to go trick or treating? Yeah. Me too. Do you like to watch movies? Yeah. Me too. I don't really like to do anything on Halloween. It's kind of my day where I just do nothing. Except go to school, usually. Yeah, I'm guessing you don't do nothing for Halloween. Yeah, let's not forget about those great traditions like carameled apples and carving pumpkins. We know that all of you still do that, even though you're teenagers. So, a lot of you think that carving pumpkins is something that little kids do. But there are really some cool designs you can do, so take a look on the internet and find something worthwhile. This has been Ryan Primno, Matthew Barnes, and Parker Dangle. I did not know how hauntingly great that story was going to be. Every year, Spectrum has foreign exchange students, and this year we have two. We have a sophomore from Germany and a junior from the Republic of Georgia. We're heading over to Lillian and Emma for more. Many people probably think about going to some foreign country for vacation. But could you wrap your mind around the idea of staying there for a year and attending their schools? Well, in Spectrum, we have two foreign exchange students who are doing just that. They are Anna and Annika, and apparently their schooling experience here is a lot different than in their home countries. Okay, first of all, we have shorter school days. Plus, if you miss school here, you need kind of explanation, permission from your parents or something like this in Georgia. You can just say, oh, I want to sleep today. Mom, can I miss school today? And if she says, yes, miss school. <laughs> and we don't have like sports and everything is not that important. And also we only have like those normal classes like math and English and not all these extra stuff. With Anna being from the Republic of Georgia and Annika being from Germany, things are a lot different here compared to their homes, not just the school experience, but the people too. You're more positive, like, in Georgia you may go out to the street and see people with that really bad faces, like, why are you smiling? 
I'm not happy, why are you happy? <laughs> and you don't see this in here, like, at least I haven't seen that. Um, like, you play are so much more open, you have like a small talk with them, or like in general, if you meet a person, you talk to them, and everyone's like, how are you? And it's great to hear that they've been having a positive experience here at Spectrum. Hopefully, they'll go home with great memories from Minnesota. This has been Lillian and Emma from Noise News. That was an awesome story, ladies. There are new sicknesses and creative foods going around. Let's head to myself and Max to find out what's going on. Safety is important to us with fast food. Chipotle and Burger King have had issues that have opened our eyes. Chipotle had a salmonella outbreak and was under fire for mishandling food. Then, Burger King's A1 burger has made people sick due to a colored bun. Um, with Chipotle and uh, salmonella, I think that can happen at any establishment that serves food because you have to keep your product fresh. I think that food can make you sick at any time. The most reported side effect of A1 Burger's bun is it turns your waist into an unfortunate color of green. So when things like that happens, I understand it, but we also have to make sure that we know what we're putting in our bodies as well. As far as that happens all the time, and I think we need to understand that, yeah, that sucks, but that's not the kind of place where we're going to say I'm never going to eat there again because I had a bad experience. Safety and quality varies greatly among chains, and you must be careful where you eat. So when you eat at a fast food establishment, you make sure to know what you're putting in your body. This has been Zach and Max signing off. And plenty of studies show that, that it doesn't even mold, so don't eat it. <laughs> Yikes! Thanks for the story, guys. It has been another great season of fall sports. Let's go over to Parker and Max to relive Sports it. are a big deal here at Spectrum High School. Let's take a look at all the fall sports being wrapped up. Football ended their season with a tough loss last week and finished with a 5-5 five and five record. Uh, the season this year went super well. Uh, we moved up a section, so we had some harder competition, but we hung in there. And uh, this next year, we're actually moving up another section, so we're going to be ready. Boys soccer ended their season two weeks ago and finished with a 3-13 and record. I think for me, because I'm a senior, I've been able to enjoy everything more and kind of the little moments mean more to me. So just being with the girls every practice and every game, like, I don't know. I think it's just different from this year than the previous years. Thank you to all the Spectrum fans for cheering on your sting. We will look forward to the next fall season and the upcoming winter sports. Max Gleason and Parker Brown signing off. There seems to be a civil war this Halloween between fruity candy or chocolate candy. Let's see what Spectrum has to offer on the topic. Kendra's little sister, do you prefer fruity candy or chocolate candy? I like chocolate candy. Hello, testing. Can you hear me? Reese's peanut butter cups. So chocolate candy. No, just Reese's peanut butter cups. Okay. <laughs> why, why? Anita, do you prefer fruity candy or chocolate candy? Chocolate candy. What's your favorite? Reese's peanut butter cups. Yes. <laughs> oh look, there's Mr. Anderson. Look at him go. Okay. Fruity candy or chocolate candy? You're asking me what I like? Yeah. Oh, chocolate. No fruit. Fruity isn't candy. Something you eat for health. <laughs> Judah 119, do you prefer fruity candy or chocolate candy? I don't like fruity candy, so I take chocolate. Okay. Okay, bye. <laughs> Maddie, do you prefer fruity candy or chocolate candy? <laughs> that, was, that was purposeful. <laughs> do you prefer fruity candy or chocolate candy? Fruity candy. Judah, do you prefer fruity candy or chocolate candy? Chocolate. Okay. <laughs> do you prefer fruity candy or chocolate candy? I like fruity candy. Judah, do you prefer fruity candy or chocolate candy? Chocolate. What's your favorite? Uh, the little musketeer things. Three musketeers? Yeah, and the little silver packet. Me too. <laughs> yes. God bless. God bless. My friend, and I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. Oh, oh, uh, uh, uh. Yo, what up? This is Max Cleason. I'm going to break it down for you. Ready? Candy. Max Cleason, do you prefer fruity candy?
candy or chocolate candy? Chocolate, because it tastes good in my mouth. Max White, the man who looks younger than he actually is. Man? The boy! <laughs> Do you prefer fruity candy or chocolate candy? Chocolate candy. Sweet segment, ladies. I'm Jordan. And I'm Zach. And this has been the premiere production of Noise News.